It was, it was difficult, you know. I was really hoping, you know, I mean, taking Kenya to the first tournament that um, we're not going to, you know, meet South Africa, you know, that early in the competition and also that, that early in, in, in my coaching career with, with Kenya. And um, uh, it, it's still very strange to me. I promise you, when I look at the team sheets and I look at the playing schedule, it's, it's still very difficult for me to look for Kenya first. I see South Africa, I look for South Africa versus, you know, and now I have to get used to looking for Kenya versus Spain, Kenya versus, you know, Portugal or Kenya versus, you know, South Africa. It's, it's something very difficult to get used to. And, and also because uh, in Siemens you're such a, such a like, close family, you know, you, bend, you build a bond with the player and with the team and with the management. And it's, it's very difficult because you've been part of that family. It's almost like going to someone and say, but uh, this, is your, this is your son but you, he's not going to be your son anymore. How can you do that? I mean, this is part of my life. It was part of my life for how many years? Since 1999, you know, since I was a, as a player in 2004, when I took over as a coach, you can't change that all of a sudden and just switch your mindset. And all of a sudden, you know, South Africa is becoming the enemy. It is something very difficult to do for me still. And, and, and I don't think it's going to change very soon. Obviously, the ultimate goal always has always been, you know, with uh, the South African team to have taken them to the Olympics. And I think, you know, sometimes, you know, things are not meant to be. The thing about Kenya is that it was so appealing. And when I've met the players for the first time, I just could could sense there was a, a hunger and a desire, you know, for them to 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 excel and to and to do a bit better. And you know, this team still isn't ready and at the level where they can compete against the top four, top six teams in the world. And uh, that is something that we would like to change, you know, going forward is to see how we can crack it into the top four. And obviously, the, the, from a team perspective, I mean, the Olympics, you know, is the, is the ultimate goal for us. But for me, from a personal you know, perspective, I, I'm, I'm not the type of person who set goals for myself that in three years' time I want to be in a certain place. And for me, it's really about the people. I had that philosophy with the South African players. I have the same philosophy now with Kenya. If I can get a player in and he becomes a better player, and he, if he can exit the system a better person and a better player, then that is goal achieved for me. And uh, you know, as much as I want to go in there and I want to get success as a coach, the success for me is going to be in seeing the growth of the team and the growth of individual players. And uh, if we can achieve that, you know, then I'm a happy coach. You have to be able to do everything. You have to be a halfback, a loose forward, um, you know, a lock. You know, you have to be everything. You know, so it's I guess the, the finer elements of.